Good evening, guys. It's a beautiful day. It's a day the Lord has made. We are here. We're rejoicing. We're glad. We're happy. We're we 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 are motivated. Motivated. Right. So I want a quick word to someone out there today. Now you've been thinking that you want to start something. You've been thinking that you have this great idea. You've been waiting for the right time, and you're just waiting. Wedding, wedding, and wedding, and wedding. Maybe you've been wedding for like six years right now, or seven, eight, nine years, and maybe you're spiritual enough to have write, written the vision now. Like the Bible says, you know, write a vision now, make it plain, and maybe even you even you wouldn't even have it glazed, you know, like imprinted on the walls of your room. But you haven't started nothing. Maybe you have some financial analysis drawn out. Maybe you have some analytics, you know, maybe you have some benchmarks from different markets that you've, you know, put together on a flow chart. And you even have a, a business process system really drawn out. And you, you, you're like, you know, you're ready to go. But there is something, 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 something holding you down. I've been there before. And some of my ideas and some of the things that I really actually want to implement, even right now, in some situation, in some cases, I, I still I still don't want to, you know, go ahead and do them. And I don't know what's stopping you right now. You know, I don't know what's stopping you. But I just want to tell you that the right time is now. Okay? If you if you if you made up your mind and you have this good idea that God has given you. You have to go ahead, go ahead and pursue it. And you need to start now. And maybe some of us have started, some of us have started, you know, maybe some of us, we, we started the journey, we started the business, we started the project. And then we felt as if, you know, we wanted about, you know, five of our friends or 10 of our friends to support us, especially now that we're in, in the age of social media, right? You want people to like, comment, you know, share, and maybe the first time that you, you, you share that on your page, no one showed interest. Maybe you come back after 24 hours and you only have one like. Or maybe you come back after even two weeks and there was no like, no comment, no shares. And you felt as if, wow, people don't like what I'm doing. Is this the right thing for me to do? Let me tell you something. It is the right thing for you to do. You don't need the validation of no man. You don't need the validation of anybody. You just have to be convinced and have the validation within yourself. You have to push your head and keep moving and don't care what anybody says about what you're doing at this time. If you're doing the right thing and you know it is what God wants you to do for this season, for this time, at this hour, then you don't need to care about what anybody else thinks about it. You don't need to care about the likes, the shares, the comments. All you got to do is you have to go ahead and pursue your dream. Keep making, you know, keep designing what you're designing. Keep launching out into the deep. And one thing, one thing that I, I will also add to this is that you need to network more. You need to leave the circle where you are right now. That looks like if this, this circle is trying to press you down, you need to leave that circle. You need to go out outside of your comfort zone and start networking with other people. Let me tell you something. Your greatest fan are the people that you have never met. Your greatest fan are these people that you've never met. Your greatest fan are these people who wouldn't even know how to pronounce your name. Your greatest fan are these people on the other side of the world that have not even seen your face before. Now, these are the people that are waiting for you. The Bible says the endless expectation of the creation waits with eager longing for the manifestation of the sons of God. This manifestation that we are referring to and this endless expectation of the creation and not the people that surround you. For the most part, these people that surround you will not support your dream. For the most part, people that surround you will not put their hands on that um, cart that you're trying to push and say, yeah, boy, yeah, girl, we're going to push with you. They will not. They will all fold their hands and watch and say, let's see if it will, it will fall into the ditch. Let's see if she will fall into the ditch. So what I'm saying right now is that you don't have to give up 
And if you have not started what you really want to start, today is the right day for you to start. You have to start today. Today is the right day for you to begin. The time is now. Don't wait. Don't wait no more. Don't wait no more. If you have everything down, written down, it's time for you to act on what you've written down. If you don't have it written down yet, take a paper, take a pen, take a big, a big piece of cardboard and start writing everything. All the ideas that you know that God wants you to pursue. Come on, write it down. Put it on the wall beside your bedroom, everywhere in your room, put it there. The vision, make it plain. Because you know what? Your vision is for an appointed time. And the appointed time is when starts from right now. Starts from right now. Starts from right now. So what you got to do is just that. You just that. And I want to let you know something. This is based on my experience and from what I've done and tried over and over again. You don't need money to start that business that you're thinking about. I mean, you might need $1, $2, but you don't need $10,000. You might need you might need 100, 100 naira, 200 naira, 300 naira, 400 naira, but you don't need 10,000 naira. Now you have to start from what you have right now, and then we have to figure out the rest later on. Okay? So, if you have any questions, you have anything you want to ask me, you can reach out to me. You can find me on, uh, where well, you can find me on Instagram at Yinka Ade. You can find me on Facebook. You can find me on Twitter. Yes, it's time for you to start living your purpose and your dream. I'll see you again next time. Have a wonderful week ahead and God bless you. Bye-bye.